shit, I don't want no pity Nigga, I don't want your bitch Pull up in an old nine six Big body, no four rich Shake it with the lift up, kid Yo, JDS, what's good with y'all, man? We back here with some rap lyrics that actually happen, bruh So, tell me, tell me Who do y'all think in a rap game capping? Or actually rapping, you feel me? Like, who who would have been this bitch you think is for real about they talk? Like, for real talk, for real talk. Like, who about they business, bro? I don't know. Some people, uh, I believe Polo G is about his business. But some people told me Polo G wasn't about that. Like, y'all y'all must be tripping. That from Chicago, bro. That's some cap. We gonna see if these niggas from really, really some demons. I wanna see who out here really talking that shit. How y'all doing today, man? Y'all doing good? Y'all doing good, man? Leave a like, comment, subscribe, bro. Bro, what if I what if I left a dislike on my own video, son? Like, could y'all imagine that? Like, if I just went down below and left a dislike, I'm the only dislike on that mug. I don't know why I just told y'all that. I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all having a great day, man. Y'all already know. Go follow me on my Insta if you want priority reactions, bro. I give y'all a shout out on my channel too, bro. But other than that, let's get straight into this banger of a video, man. Hey, make sure y'all go subscribe to Hip Hop Daily, too. He going crazy, bro. Rappers are constantly judged by the credibility of their lyrics. While some just make up stories for the cloud. Weezy. Others talk about real life situations. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nigga said, while others, some, others make up stories for the cloud. For the cloud? Of their Why lyrics. you Weezy on the screen? While some just that. make up stories for the cloud. Others talk about real life Chill. situations from the streets. Chill. Here's a look at a few famous rap lyrics that have actually happened. Bro, 12 you know paramedics couldn't save your fucking life, boy. Who I smoke, spin a Benz. Young and Ace and his gang of ATK goons shocked the world with the track Who I That, that's gotta be tough, bro. Spin a Benz. Bro, how you put some shit like that? I've listened to this song. Aiden Ross almost got his head, his head hunted for this song, bro, because he rapped it on stream, bro. But damn, why niggas gotta put shit like this in a music? Young and Ace it's and his so gang evil. of ATK goons shocked the world with the so track demons. Who I Smoke, which disrespectfully mentions a few people who they attacked and killed in this deadly gang war. In this bar, Spin and Benz is referring to the murder of a 22-year-old Jacksonville rapper named Rod K. Rod K was a rapper who was associated with Fulio and his KTA gang. He only started oh, rapping a few shit. months ago, but was popping off in Jacksonville with his track Strap Story and Hot Boys. The rapper was shot and killed on November 20th, 2020, outside the Hilltop Village Apartments. Paramedics arrived on the scene around 4.30 p.m. and found two victims in a parking lot. Originally, they reported that the injuries were not life-threatening, but Rod would eventually pass away. So this is what Spin the Bands means when he raps 12 paramedics couldn't save your life. Rod K's death came just a day after the murder of another KTA affiliate oh. who went by the name Spaz 2X. On November 19, 2020, police Shit. arrived at the Hilltop Village Apartments, the same place Rod K was shot, around 7.45 p.m. and found Spaz dead. So, Julio and KTA suffered back-to-back -back losses of two prominent members. Hilltop Village is an apartment complex located in the Moncrief neighborhood of Jacksonville Bro. and many KTA affiliated rappers and shooters live there. Fulio often refers to it as the 6 or 1646 because of its address. That was also the spot that is. Yeah, Fulio straight up said on Aiden Ross's stream, he gave his address out to the public. He said he ain't scared, bro. Um, stay out the streets, kid. His younger brother Bibby was killed back in 2019. And gunfire erupts inside a Northwest Side apartment complex. It leaves this 16 year old dead. Damn. Neighbors say that the shooting sounded like a war zone. So Rod K was just another casualty in the ongoing war in Jacksonville. He was just starting to get recognized for his music, which likely contributed to his death. Several rumors are going around on the internet about what happened to Rod K. Some say it was the ops even in the score after Rod went looking for Spaz's killer. Others say he was backdoored by his own people. Regardless of who did it, his ops couldn't miss the opportunity to diss the rapper after he passed. Spin the bands would mock his op on an IG live session by asking the question, where is Rod K after he passed? That's a good question right there. Where is Rod K? That's a good question right there. Where is Rod K? Now that is tough. That I don't even know what else to say about some shit like that. That's demon time. And then follow up with this savage bar on who I smoke. He also referenced the dead rapper on the track Drill Time, where he raps, I told y'all Rod K was dead before his body had got found. But Rod K wasn't the only Jacksonville rapper who was referencing who I smoke. In this next bar, Fast Money Goon raps about a shooting that almost took out the KTA head honcho, Fulio. That nigga look like Comephazine, bro, don't he? Look at Comephazine. Fast Money oh, Goon raps about a shooting that almost took out the KTA head honcho, Fulio. I was lurking on his page and caught him lacking in Houston. We let off shots, he got shot, and went on live. Fast Money Goon, who I smoke. On July 6, 2020, Fulio was shooting a music video in Houston, Texas. 
As he was leaving the scene, his car was shot up and a bullet grazed his skull. While he was in the hospital, he went on IG Live to diss his ops and let him know that he wasn't phased. Bitch, uh, shot me, but didn't kill me. I'm Kendrick. You fucking stupid. He talks about the shooting in an interview and said that it wasn't a big thing and he wasn't concerned about it because you could die anywhere. He wasn't going to give ATK the satisfaction of knowing anywhere, that he was bro, wrong. You can die, bro, literally, bro. Concerned about it because you could die anywhere. He wasn't going to give and said that it wasn't a big thing and he wasn't concerned about it because you could die anywhere. He wasn't going to give ATK the satisfaction. Bro, people, I I just wanted to make sure I, I heard him right before I just agreed to some shit that he said. But, bro, like, you can die at any moment doing shit like this, bro. Like, real talk. It's it's street shit, bro. Like, and if you if you get into it once, it's like, it's hard as fuck to get out, bro. Faction of knowing that he was worried like, about almost losing his life. Like, In this bar, Fast Money Goon confirms the rumor that they stalked the social media to get the drop on him. They saw that he was filming a video and went all the way to Houston to try and catch him lacking, but barely missed. That's the wild thing about this new generation of trap and drill rappers. Not only are they out here living the life they talk about in their music, they're also constantly showing their location on social media in real time for everyone to see, including the ops. Just before the shooting in Houston, Julio's girlfriend was also shot. She was hit, but survived, and Fulio once again went on live to prove he wasn't scared. It shows how out of control this whole situation is, when that. even she females aren't safe. But when you're really in the streets like that, anyone around you can get hit. When the ops can't find you, they might go after anyone close to you that matters. Yeah. In this bar, Fast Money Goon is clowning Fulio by saying they're sending shots in real life, while all he does is send disses on social media. But if you've been paying attention to this beef from the start, you know that both sides have been pretty active with the payback. Bro, but Jacksonville rappers that. aren't the Bro, this that video was so fucked up, son. This shit is fucked up, bro. Fully <laughs> dog, why? Attention son? to this beef like, from the start. You know that both it, sides bro. have been pretty active with the payback. But Jacksonville rappers aren't the only ones to talk about real shootings and murders in their music. This next artist raps about killing a dude in Walmart in front of his daughter, bro. then beating the case in self-defense. My daughter G, she saw me killing a in front of her before the age of two. The baby, rock star. In this bar, the baby is referencing a real life incident where he shot and killed a man in a Walmart while he was shopping with his one year old daughter. Even though today the baby is one of the biggest hip hop stars in the world, the rapper grew up in the mean streets of Charlotte and has been involved in many fights and shootings. Early on in his career, the baby chased six armed men out of his home after they broke in and tried to steal his TV and other valuables. He ended yeah. up shooting one, but they all ran away and never got arrested. So five, five or six guys ran up in your house. Mm -hmm. Probably more than that. One of them got shot and they all escaped. Mm -hmm. Plus, who can forget the time that the baby was being taunted by another this rapper shit. in the mall and he I ended up fighting him on IG Live. So despite his superstar status, it's well known that the baby does not play around. Check out our previous videos on rappers ready for ops and crazy rapper fights for more info on these situations. But probably the craziest moment of his career yet was when the baby shot and killed a man in Walmart, then beat the case on self-defense. Yeah. On November 5th, that 2018, crazy, the baby was at a that. Walmart in Huntersville, North Carolina with his daughter and baby mama buying clothes. While shopping, two men ran up on him and told the rapper that he needed to check in. One of them was 19-year-old Dominique Craig, who was holding the gun at the time. They tried to get the rapper to come with them outside, but it didn't get that far. Exactly what happened after isn't entirely clear. But at some point, the baby pulled his own gun and fired two or three shots, hitting Craig in the stomach and killing him. At first, there were rumors going around that the shooting was the result of a brawl between four or five other people in the store, while others claimed You cannot run up on people in a store with a weapon, bruh. You can't. No matter if you if you trying to if you trying to go and be like, hey yo, the baby was like you can't even because they can still see they don't play that. I know most of the rappers who are real rappers, they don't be playing that shit, bruh. They be on self-defense 24-7, bro. And that it was a shootout in the parking lot. Alert. So after being released by the police, the rapper went on Instagram to give his side of the story. He claims that he was there with his BM and daughter when the victim ran up on him. So he simply acted in self-defense. Boy, come out in that footage, come out and show y'all how I was in there with my one-year-old daughter, my five-year-old little nigga, my baby mama, on some family shit. And he nigga walked up on me, tried me, whipped out on my whole family. Oh, he also yeah, did another yeah, live yeah. a few days later nah. where he sent condolences to the family. R.I.P. me, you know, my heart's still beating, you know, and uh, condolences goes out to the to the other parties. And cleared the rumors that he did it all just for album promotion. Talking about using this to promote my album, mixtape, whatever. Check the dates, check the caption. I was promoting this before the, the week 
it happen. I would promote it. Fucked up if you just as did I was that. on the way to the Walmart, you feel me? And I'm going to keep promoting. He was in the middle of promoting his album, Blank Black with Stunner Fo Vegas, which had dropped just a few days before the shooting. And many fans thought he was using the media to gain attention for his project. He denied these rumors, but used several clips from the Walmart shooting news coverage in the intro to a music video for a song called No Tears. The baby with that nigga, I ain't gonna lie, he been using that verse a lot, bruh. He, he killed a nigga in Walmart. I've heard that verse in a couple times. Ended up getting charged for carrying a concealed weapon, but these charges were later dropped. He was eventually cleared of the crime because his lawyers were able to prove he acted in self defense. After beating the charge, the baby was one of the hottest rappers in 2019. He was already hustling and making moves, but hadn't broken into the mainstream yet. All the attention from the shooting seemed to help his career, as fans would find out he was actually a talented artist on top of being a real street dude. But according to the baby, the real G is his daughter, who witnessed her father pop a dude in Walmart. For Luckily, real. she was still too young to know what was really going she on, what if she was happened. any older, she'd probably still be traumatized. But if you thought that was crazy, this next artist rapped about how he pulled up on the ops with three of his homies, then That's ended up beating oh, no, two attempted younger. murder charges. Riding four deep where they be, in the back seat with a dirty chopper, NBA young boy, murder business. Hey, NBA I don't really listen to NBA young boy music like that. But I know he liked Hey, Young Boy is he one is of the biggest like artists that. in the game, he and he's also one of the that. wildest. The rapper has been in and out of the legal system more times than almost any rapper, yet he still manages to keep his position in the game. In this bar, he's referring to an incident where he and three of his NBA goons pulled up on members of TBG, who he thought murdered his cousin Boozilla. The beef between NBA and TBG, or Top Boy Gorillas, goes way back. We're talking before the rapper was even famous. Remember when he was in middle shit. school, Young Boy used to be cool with the younger brother of a local Baton Rouge rapper named G Money, who was affiliated with TBG. At first, Young Boy was cool with G Money and also rep TBG, but their relationship would eventually turn sour after G Money slept with Young Boy's sister. He met by the sister too, though. Yeah, one of my friends told me about this whenever I used to work. Yeah, I had fed her a long time ago. Plus, TBG refused to pay attention to Young Boy and focus on promoting yeah. G Money as a star of the group. Check out our video on Baton Rouge's deadly beef for a more in-depth breakdown of this beef. Young Boy also had a cousin who rapped under the name Boozilla. Boozilla was affiliated with another Baton Rouge gang called BBG, which was also at war with TBG. So after Young Boy split from TBG, he started hanging with his cousin again and began beefing with his former friend. Boozilla would diss another TBG affiliated rapper named Dusa and end up dead not long after. Boozilla's death would really cement the hatred in Young Boy's heart for TBG and his crew was ready for revenge. Young Boy, along with three of his homies, NBA Band 10, NBA Self Paid, and NBA Joe, went out hunting for ops. This is the moment Young Boy was rapping about when he says, riding four deep round where they be. They would pull up into the territory of TBG and let off shots at two men standing in the front yard. They would end up missing the men, but somehow, NBA Joe got shot in the neck. He was later brought to the hospital and survived. Young Boy was arrested by US Marshals on November 28, 2016, before a concert in Austin, Texas. He was charged with two counts of attempted murder and held on a $200,000 bond. Jeez. He spent the next eight months in jail fighting the charge and was potentially facing life in prison if convicted. But his lawyers ended up securing him a plea deal that dropped the charges from attempted murder to aggravated assault with a firearm, which carries less of a penalty. He ended up admitting to the shooting in court and several record label executives would show up to testify on his behalf to say that he had a promising career in the music industry. Thanks to good lawyers and his label connections, Youngboy was given a 10 year suspended sentence and three years of probation. This means he won't serve additional time, but if he messes up again and violates probation, a 10 year sentence is automatically triggered. At sentencing, Youngboy apologized to the court for his crimes and vowed to focus on his music career and leave the streets alone. But we all know how that turned out. Youngboy was released in August 2017 on a $50,000 post-conviction bond and soon after dropped the track Untouchable, which became one of his hottest tracks yet. Beating two attempted murders only added to the rapper's reputation as one of the wildest artists of the new generation, and his music started to really take off. But all while he was blowing up, the rapper would continue the war with TBG. Bro. In September 2017. Bro, these niggas, if you don't make it out the hood and you rapping about shit like this, and you doing shit like this, I, I believe it would be over with, son. But a lot of these niggas get lucky enough because of the reputation of them, like, killing niggas. Uh, they make it out and become famous. The month after Youngboy was released, G Money was shot and killed. Baton Rouge police are looking into a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22 year old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street hey around 1.20 last night. An NBA affiliate named NBA Pap would end up getting charged for the murder, and the beef between CBG and NBA only got worse from there. The two crews continued going after each other with bodies dropping on each side in an ongoing war that still continues to this day. 
the beef got so deadly that in February 2021, the FBI announced that they were launching an official investigation into the NBA game and were focusing on Youngboy as the ringleader. On March 22, 2021, he was arrested by federal agents after a long chase where he tried to escape in a vehicle and then on foot. Bruh, son, these niggas is demons, dog. Like, for real. And the next one, if he does a part two, he gotta have a little bit more rappers because I wanna see who cap or not, bruh. But this must tell you, a lot of uh, some of these rappers might be capping out here. But being Louis being from Louisiana myself, bro, I know there's some streets and some, or I know there's some places you cannot go. And whenever I go to New Orleans, <laughs> I try to make sure I stay in daylight, nigga, because them niggas be crazy. BR too, but I don't, I rarely ever go to BR though. But BR crazy too sometimes. I mean, they got they got the good parts of BR like LSU and all that, but then they got the rest of br yeah man let me know how y'all felt about this reaction let me know what rappers y'all think is capping which rappers y'all think is real down below man let me know what y'all want to react to next bro this is a little different something something i'm doing on my channel bro thank you for growing jds subscribe on this video to help this uh jds community grow you feel me because we out here growing like shit crazy man jds growing like crazy man we about to hit 2k before the end of the year my goal was to hit 1k before the end of the year you niggas got me up to 2k what's up you, you got me up to 2K like we got Hall of Fame badges in this bitch. I'm going to catch y'all on the next banger, bro. Y'all go have a good day, afternoon, whatever, man. Don't let me know where your girlfriend stay because uh, it's not we not called your next Demon Squad for a reason, you feel me? But, uh, hey, I'm going to catch y'all on the next banger. Peace.